What is up everybody? Uh, today we're only going to be playing one character or maybe two depending on how well I do because I'm not feeling too well right now so I'm not going to be able to make as much content but I mean who cares really? That's my deal. Not your deal. Anyway let's just get through this. Iron bar is an alright item. I mean it's not amazing iron bar but I mean I think it's still good. I mean, who, who, who can dis a damage up? You know what I'm saying? Got some yellow flies. Those yellow flies always kind of confused me because there was always also the wasps that came out of the little uh, buttholes. The little ground. Oh, So the wasps always kind of confused me whenever it came to that because, see, those are wasps, but then there's yellow flies. And I, I thought they were the same thing for a while. Minecrafter, that's not too useful. I'm just picking it up so it doesn't spawn in later, potentially. We go Monstro, and that's when we spawn in our little double incubus friend. I don't know what's up with the game giving me Lilith so often. It's kind of odd, but I'm fine with it, really. Lilith is one of my favorite characters, especially for green mode, so it's all good. All right, we, ooh, a third spawn. Also, speed and damage up. Like I said, who would deny a damage up? Something I didn't realize until last game whenever we got that little brim is that Cambion Conception is really good. I think it's uh, after taking 15 or 20 hits, you, uh, well, you'll give birth pretty much to a little demon baby guy. Telekinesis is alright, but we're keeping this because that's the whole central idea of Lilith. I don't know what would be better than that because especially if we get a whole bunch of familiars, this could be very overpowered. I mean, just two Incubi and two Succubi could be enough to completely win a run. Widow is so easy, it's not even funny. Dog food, woohoo! I know it's called dinner, but you know, it says dog on the label, so. Uh, this dude's wild. Th this dude, uh, oh no, oh lord, oh god, here we go. That, two more, haha, <laughs> sounds kind of like two more. That was really scary, and we have no key. That, that's great. This is perfect. These little creep dudes are odd. They're odd. But seriously, it's... Uh, I really just wasted that, didn't I? Uh, really? Okay. Next up, we got uh, Lilith again. Woo! That was a semi-sarcastic woo, but all, like not fully sarcastic. Bursting sack is going to be very useful. What it does... So, there's two items. There's, I think it's Skatol or Skatoli. I don't know. I'd call it Skatol. And then there's Bursting Sack. And what they do is Skatol works on flies, Bursting Sack works on spiders. And it makes all of those respective enemy types not attack you at all. So, that's going to be very, extremely useful to use. Let's see. Uh, nothing? Nothing. Isaac Cork, I'll just take that. Now I kind of wish it was Skatol and not. Uh, Spider sack love thing, but it works. And I'm not sure if this is a mod that I saw or something, but I think if you encounter... Oh, there was a tinted rock right there I could use Hagalaz on. I think if you encounter Widow, they, you just win. It might not be true, though. Got some more health, though. All right, let's see. There's, is there anything we can... There's a curse room, and there's some stuff in it, but not really useful stuff. We're in the caves and they are big as hell. And they're also dark as did I just use that? Am I misconstruing how Cambion Conception works? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna bomb here just in case. No. Alright, I'm gonna drop both of these here. Keep the Isaac Ford. And wait to see if I get a blank card. Or a shop refresh or anything like that. Tarot cloth. Oh, there's a whole lot I could do with the tarot cloth. All right, so I think the best course, of, course, the best course of action, the best course of action is to do this. Take this with me, then come back and around to the shop, so we can purchase this, and then double double it for twenty again. We get the full for free, effectively, and then we can get Bogo bombs and get two bombs. Or no, that wasn't 
That wasn't two bombs, but two, you, you, whatever. Not much we can do with that, but still nice. And we got the stain and curse of darkness. Well, now we got four times the firepower. Or I guess two times. It's still two times, it's just four times from what we started with. Got a little bullet hole to go through. This is this is fun. This I bet this is fun to watch. Just dark screen. Oh hey, it's a lot less dark on the top monitor than it is on I have OBS on the top and I have the game actually that I'm actually looking at, which because it's less laggy on the bottom. Alright, we got Oh, two thirds spun. We are so close to getting fully spun out of control. There we go, okay, because I wanted to make sure I no, I don't want to die. I wanted to make sure I can get into this whole abundance of loot without dying. And hey, we got a coin bag. I think if we dupl duplicate the use the duplicate box, then we get more coins. So that's nice, free money. Or I guess we traded money or mon a sack of money for a key. So and it doesn't really matter. It's all a matter of semantics. It's kind of a matter of definition. That's what semantics is, it's the study of definite, I don't think anybody cares. You know what, no, no, you're watching my channel, you care. It's the study of definitions, that's what semantics is. I'm not gonna put myself down, that's stupid. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm not gonna really use it, but free fire rate down. Uh, does it work with the incubi? No, it does not work with the incubi. It's the analog stick, which gives you 360 control of tears. Really interesting if you have an actual analog stick, it really is 360. It's only 8 degrees of movement. 8 degrees of movement. It's only 8 degrees of firing or whatever because you only have 8 directions to fire in because you're on a, you're using buttons or a keys on a thing. But I mean, you use mouse controls or you use an actual analog stick, it is full 360. Ooh, none have it. None have it will be very useful. Item murder. What, well, what that does, I can demonstrate it in a second. Uh, once you take damage, your active item will fill up more. So as you can see why that would be super useful for what I'm doing. I can get a theoretically infinite if I had a infinite amount of health, amount of dudes on my side. Ah, see, look, charge filled up. Oh, no. If I take this next hit, I might... Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, it's firing brimstone lasers. That was genuinely scary. But we got dark matter. They are really annoying. Ooh, continuum. Does continuum work with... I think it does. See, that's the benefits you get from just being a little extra patient. A single evil heart. And a big poop. Look at him, look at him, look at that big poop. Look at him, he's big and he's poop. Now he's a slightly larger, well, less large poop. Still large though. I don't know why I said larger whenever I meant less large. Cardboard boxes, not, not moving box. I thought it was moving box, but it's not. Look at this dude, uh. He just appeared right on top of me. All right, no boss trap. The item room seems to be all the way, uh, okay. All the way across the, uh, oh my God. <sighs> really? Well, that's it for today, I guess. I'm sorry that I died. I think the day of recording, I'm not going to have uploaded anything. I'm up, I might be, the day this is uploaded might be tomorrow. I'm not sure though. I'm very tired. I think I'm about to go to bed after, right after I make my lunch for tomorrow. But uh, that's besides the point. My tiredness does not affect you guys. I uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, uh, please give it a like and subscribe. It it really does give me the motivation to make more of these. That's pretty much what keeps me going. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.